Mathematica is very uh, powerful in both uh, doing deep research, very complicated mathematical problems, and also uh, allowed us to apply this uh, mathematics to real systems, including biology, ecology, and epidemiology, and the public health. I'm a professor of mathematics at the Purdue University. I do research in mathematical biology, basically applying mathematics and mathematical tools to uh, biological systems, and I'll co collaborate with the uh, people in uh, various fields, including uh, colleagues at the CDC. We are uh, hoping to develop a tool to help policymakers to design control strategies for influenza, and especially the current situation with uh, H1, the H1N1 virus. There are several features that Mathematica has that were very uh, beneficial to our study. The first one is this uh, interactive feature uh, via uh, manipulate commands. So uh, that will allow us to present the results to non-mathematicians, to uh, policymakers, to uh, visualize the results, just to see how the outcomes will change with uh, certain actions in terms of uh, disease control strategies. This is an example of a mathematical model uh, and a notebook created using Mathematica. This graph shows what will happen to uh, a pandemic of influenza if certain medication strategies are used. This left graph shows the cumulative cases, that's the total number of people infected over the course of epidemic. And the graph on the right shows the actual epidemic curves. So you can see that the peak of the epidemic occurs at the different times when you change this control parameters. Also, the size of the peak. Those are important uh, quantities when uh, policymakers uh, design their control uh, strategies. In general, we would like to delay the epidemic peaks and reduce the peak size of the epidemic. The bottom table presents some summary statistics. So that's another advantage of Mathematica. You can use those statistic packages to create all those numbers, okay, representing, for example, peak size, time to peak, and the final size, and the fraction of resistance strings. In this one uh, graph, you can both visualize how the outcomes of the epidemic uh, correspond to certain control uh, strategies, and also uh, give some information about this disease dynamics. Our work uh, in the modeling influenza has demonstrated that Mathematica is a very powerful tool, so very useful, uh, very uh, convenient. Infectious disease study is not something you can do experiments with humans. So it's very helpful for policymakers to visualize the outcomes under certain actions. And Mathematica has all those powerful uh, advantages, and the computational advantage and the visualization advantage that can make the studies uh, more easily done and more easily presented to non-mathematicians. And a lot of complexities can be uh, overcome by using Mathematica software.